are going straight into the discussion of Braf War, Sakod here, Chiami Kwame, that is next on the topic here on Showbiz Agenda. I want to say good morning to you, Dorothy. You are also listening to us all the way from US of A. And uh, to all the guys who are listening to us from abroad, God bless you for choosing Showbiz Agenda on Xylophone 102.1 FM. Now, we will read the first story from ghbase.com where it says Sakod here and Chiami Kwame didn't show up for my Paimuka documentary and Abrafo is saying this I don't know whether he said this in pain or in passing but then let's read the story to find out more uh, I hear Sarkodes manager is on standby to talk to us to give us some explanation now Abrafo has been one of the strongest pillars in the Ghanaian music industry and we can tell that he's one artist almost every young aspiring musician in the country look, looks up to it's been 20 years since he launched his first album Paimuka thus he's organized in a concert to commemorate the anniversary. Dubbed Paimuka at 20, Obrafo seeks to hold a huge concert at the Accra International Conference Center on the 9th of November 2019. This will see many music lovers interact with their favorite Ghanaian artists and also enjoy some soothing performances from the artist. Prior to the concert in November, Obrafo and his team will be holding a couple of events, one of which is a symposium and another will be showcasing of a documentary which includes almost all the big names in the Ghanaian music industry. In a recent interview with Zion Felix, Obrafo recounted that he called Sarkodie and Ochiame Kwame, but they both did not show up for the documentary and they still haven't given him the reason for not showing up. He continued that he does not know why they haven't shown up, but he presumed they have been occupied with work that's not showing up. Now, the interview is online for you to get more. In a related story, uh, Sarkodie's manager, that is the popular angel, has also responded to this story. And this story is also on GHPEG.com. And it reads, Sarkodia tried his best to be part of a Bradford's documentary. The manager has explained. Let me read this story. Uh, we'll be getting him to talk to him, though. Now, it's this. Manager of Ghana's most decorated rapper, Sarkodie, Angel Town, has finally come out to explain why the Tema based rapper failed to turn up for Obrafo's Paimuka documentary. Um, Obrafo, in his recent interview, revealed that he invited both Sarkodie and rap doctor Ochiame Kwame to feature in his upcoming documentary, but they both failed to turn up for the shoot. This comment from Obrafo, whom many people, especially music lovers, hold in high esteem, made social media user attack Sarkodie for being the Respectful towards the legend of Brafo and wondered if truly his comment of Brafo being his idol is really true. Well, his manager Angel has stepped in to explain why the fastest failed to show up, explaining that Sack never turned down the offer for the feature. Now, according to him, they tried their best to be part of it and will never say no to Brafo. He went on to explain that there were definitely arrangement issues because Sakodier was overwilling to feature in the documentary. Angel stated that the producer of the documentary called him and communicated that they would like to shoot Sarkodie's bit at 2 p.m. on an agreed date. But unfortunately, the rapper was still at Pastor Brian Amwatin's IES conference at the National Theatre as at the time of the shoot. The manager further said Obrafo had later said he was sending the team over to his uh, Sarkodie's house to shoot the rapper's part, which never happened. It is just a matter of miscommunication. This is a statement from um, Angel. And uh, it says, if right now self, if these people want to shoot Sarkodie, we go shoot, Angel said in Pigeon. I hear Angel is on the line, uh, a very busy man, but he has decided to respond to us on this one. Let's go to the line to talk to him. Good morning, sir, Angel. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Yes, boss. Mm -hmm. It is now very clear. And I hope my man is in Ghana because I know Angel flies out easily. Yeah, we are here. We're all in Ghana. Oh, you are all in Ghana. Uh, yeah. First of all, ever since Obrafo made this statement of Sarkodie and Ochiame Kwame not featuring in his documentary, uh, has there been any attempt to reach to him, uh, to reach out to him to explain what happened before you even explain to the media? To reach out to Obrafo? Yes, Obrafo himself, yes. Uh, because Obrafo was actually the last person I spoke to concerning this. So, I mean, he, per what he mentioned to me when we spoke, he called me. I mean, after uh, all the miscommunication, he called me and then I was trying to explain to him like the series of conversations I'd had with his, his people connected to the documentary. So then he said, okay, cool. Is it okay if he sends them 
to come and shoot at home because Sark needed a change of clothes from the conference. And I said, oh, yeah, we are open. He's, he's over ready to shoot. So if they're coming here, they can come and shoot at home. Even Sark himself followed up with me countless. Are they coming? Are they coming? Are they coming? But they never showed up. So then clearly, I, I, I mean, I don't know what happened after that, but things of fact was the last person I spoke to, and he gave me that directive that they were coming. I mean, it ended at that. I actually didn't show up. Before I knew it, there were stories everywhere. I was, I was actually very surprised about this whole, how the, the direction this whole documentary was one person. So many times, countlessly for Sakurya. For make his way to the studio, record songs for Sakurya. For hours for Sakurya. I mean, Sakurya, like, uh, I mean, was invited for a breakfast lunch at the hotel. I mean, we stayed there close to four hours or even more, waiting to to be part of the lunch. So how much more a documentary? How many minutes would a documentary take? How many seconds of what uh, Sark's recording we even make up for the documentary? So how does that become a big deal that we don't show up for a for? And then now the story flying is like, oh, they're comparing artists. Oh, this artist traveled, but I was able to make it for his. And then so Sark on purpose didn't show up for a Bradford. I was contacted only twice for a uh, documentary. The first one, I couldn't give them feedback. But the second one, we decided together that we're going to shoot on Friday. But then... We have, uh, Sark is a speaker for uh, Pastor ah, Fire's yes. conference. Mm. Yes. So I can't be specific when we can make it to the studio. Because Eddie was the one I was speaking to. He said to me, when do you have time between 11 and 3, uh, 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. on that Friday? And I said, I can't. The one thing I know is the moment we leave the National Theater is you we are coming to. So then Eddie made me speak to, uh, I think, Natalia. She, she's the producer of the documentary. Mm -hmm. So then she said to me that we only have the studio till 2 p.m. Mind you, in the beginning when Eddie had contacted me, Eddie said, oh, we can actually shoot anywhere. We just need time to have time to shoot anywhere. Then later the conversation changed to that. It's only the studio we can shoot at. It's not a problem. Then the producer said to me, we only have the studio to 2 p.m. So when can you make it? I can't be specific because we Pastor Brian's uh, uh, conference is at earlier engagement. When we're through with that, we're coming to you. And she said, if it's after two, we can't, then we can't make it. And we were at Pastor Brian's thing even till two. So then I figured it's not even possible. You understand me? So even if Frank started, that was going to change his course. I had to go back because if you said you had it strictly to 2 p.m., then I felt like it wasn't going to be possible. So even after we had left the conference, I called Peggy and I said to him, the producer said it's only after 2, two o'clock and it's 2 and we are here. And he said, oh, you can still come. Then the producer texts me and say, oh, you can come to 3. And I said, so you could have mentioned that to me before. Now it's going to be a lot of stress to get him change of clothes and the timing is short. You understand? And I think just at then, emotions had even taken, had taking off already and say, oh, then, you know what, maybe we can't even shoot again and maybe we can do it in the future. And I'm like, ah, okay, I stay mute. Then just just uh, a few minutes after, I brought for himself, I saw his, his number calling my phone. So then I picked up and then I said, oh, biggest boss, he said he was there, he was also trying to see us. I, I explained the whole situation to him. Then he said to me, uh, okay, cool. So right now, uh, if you're going home from the conference, can I send the people to come and shoot? I said, oh, boss, you, if anything you want to do, we are game. It's just an issue of timing. The studio booking and our convenience was clashed. That's the only problem. But we are more than willing to shoot. And he said, okay, the producer will call you back. They are coming to shoot at home. So, so I even called me more than four times to find out, are they still coming? Are they still coming? Then the next minute, it becomes a big deal. I don't even know how come this has become so much of a big deal. Um, I'm actually very surprised about it. But, I mean, anybody who's been following or who knows, knows them how much respect Sark accords to a Bravo. And everybody, not even Sark, anybody that's not from the Bravo's music would would have, like, an immense amount of respect for a Bravo. So... I don't see how the showing up for the documentary has become it's just a, a mega issue of communication. Mm. I've seen the story, they said they countlessly they reached out to us. 
but that is not even the situation. But I mean, anything of that for I, I I can state emphatically that SAC is more than open to be part of it. I mm. mean, Obafo spoke to me, said he needed pictures for artwork for his concert. I said, yeah, why not? I'll see you on Friday because I'm we are going to come and shoot the documentary. Obafo can testify today. I said to him, we're even going to meet on Friday because we're coming to shoot the documentary. So we say that on purpose and then decide not to show up on purpose again. No. Mm. Uh, so, so um, Angel, it is obvious that everything you are telling us now is uh, before Obrafo's statement of you guys not featuring in the documentary came out. Yes, now, after it's, after, it's the statement, after the statement, after the statement, has the team reached out to him that, bro, this is what we wanted to do and blah, 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 the miscommunication that happened. After the statement had come out, have you spoken to Obrafo or any of the team members spoken to him? No, we haven't. Um, that, does it mean and that... we haven't because... We haven't because, like I mentioned, Obrafo was the last person I spoke to. He was the last person I spoke to concerning this documentary thing. He said he was sending his team to come to us. And the team didn't come. And then, so his, his remarks, or I haven't heard from him. I only read uh, stories from people that Obrafo's response was X and X and X. I haven't actually heard from Obrafo himself. But then, if that was his response, then it's a bit surprising because... I mean, when we spoke, he was even trying to say, oh, you don't worry, I'll just send them to come. So, I mean... But, but is, the team, is the team seeing the need to also talk to him maybe behind the scenes for him not to have any feeling? Like you said, when uh, the initial agreement failed, uh, some emotions came up and all that. Is, or maybe Team Sack is also offended in a way for that statement. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, why would he be offended? He can never be offended about about it. Probably, I don't know, maybe Obafo generalized his, his comments. I don't know if it was specifically directed at faculty or, or anything, but I'm sure he just said maybe he generalized and said, oh, I called all X and X artists, but maybe I was disappointed. But, I mean, with us, with the... Sack won't have an issue with you know, Obafo's comments on this. I mean, and honestly, I, even if today, 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 our grandfather says we want to shoot that, we will we'll be more than available to do it. You, you get what I mean? Like, mm, so... Mm. So, so that, 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 is, that is why I want to know why the team, as it stands now, hasn't done anything, uh, hasn't attempted to even talk to your brother for that. Oh, uh, it happened at that time, but even now we are ready. Uh, I'm still wondering why the team hasn't done that as of now. But, but I, mean, I, I actually, I actually mentioned, speaking to a brother for and his team, I actually mentioned, so when is the next other possibility? They said there's no other possibility. And that is the last day and we this is the last day we are shooting. So if it comes uh-huh. to it's not possible. That is when Obrafo said, Okay, I'll send them to come and I said, Yeah, why not? It's cool. Oh, okay. So now if, it- if they had said to me that they had the studio like extra hours after then, we would have still shot the document. The issue was that the studio time is elapsing at two PM. Mm-hmm. After two PM they don't have the studio again. This is how come because the Friday we were going to shoot, even if it was at 12 midnight would have shot still. The issue was the studio bit. That they oh, didn't okay. have the studio open to them. Maybe somebody else had booked the studio after 2 p.m. Mm. Possibly. I don't know, but... Mm. I mean, So, so now, that, there, is no, there is no possibility of recording it again. That's why you haven't reached out to him. Well, per the communications that I, I got, there is no possibility of recording again. So, I, I mean... But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a point well made. I, I think I was just... Uh, let Sack speak to Obrafo, uh, I mean, from here, and then probably we see the way forward. This is a possibility to shoot, yes. If not, I mean, the future is there. We can always do other stuff. I mean, I see. But the, the kind of influence from well, knowing Sack for years, the kind of influence I know Obrafo, his personality and his career, the kind of influence it has impacted on Sack's life and his music and everything. Trust me, bro, I, there is no situation that would ever make Sack disregard or Braffo or anything that Obrafo wants to do. Never. I, I really don't think so. This is my personal ob- observation and opinion, but I really, it's clearly impossible. You understand? And Obrafo accords this, so much respect to Sack and everything Sack demands for. Mm-hmm. So then it will be very, I mean, it's just irrational that Sack won't do same or even more. You understand? Mm. Mm, mm, I see. Now, now is Team Sakodie seeing this story or that statement from Obrafo as a character damaging one? 
Um, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. So, like I mentioned, this is me feeling like Obrafo made a general statement. Mm-hmm. Until I see maybe specifically that Obrafo said, oh, Sarko, this, and this, and this, and this. I feel like it's a very general statement. I don't think it's a character damaging statement. Okay. Because... No, I don't think so. I really mm. don't think so. Mm, yeah. mm, mm, I see. Now, I, I went from that. There, there are some one or two um, hearsays in and out that this year, all things being equal, Sarkodia will give Tema a big show, a big show coming up soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if yeah, yeah. Uh, Angel can uh, speak on that. Oh, yes, I can. I can definitely. I mean, um, we have we have a, a plan for Tema. It's actually not like just a show. It's, mm-hmm. it's, I mean, it's a whole package. It's like it's like a weekend takeover because there's been so much love and so much support a decade and more from the people of Tema, and we haven't been back doing anything to give back to them or any appreciation. So we're coming back with definitely an appreciation. It's going to be a series of activities. It's not just a concert. We'll climax with the concert, but mm-hmm. we're engaging the people of Tema in a special way. I mean, we're doing stuff with them. It's going to be the whole weekend back to back. We chose a weekend which is really close, but uh, because of the the level of stuff we wanted to do, we just decided to push it further. So it's coming very very soon for the people of Tema. I mean, we're breaking complications this week. So um, all all things being equal, Tema is about to experience something amazing from the music to the sports, to the culture to the food to everything Tema. I mean, we sell Tema to the rest of the world. Mm. It is going to be before 2019 ends, I guess. Definitely, definitely. I see. Now, not long ago, um, Donzi was in the studio, and uh, in our studio to be specific, <laughs> and uh, he yeah. made mention that if you are an artist in Tema, you might not be encouraged to do stuff because people in Tema don't even support their own people. Uh, since this is going to be Sarkodie's first time of doing such a thing, what has been the survey? Uh, do we see it being great? Um, <laughs> and Angel loved. Tema, Tema, you need her in them. Like I see, that is that's just what it is. I mean, we we don't stay hyped about things for too long. I mm-hmm. mean, so if you compare to Accra, the way Accra people can go to a particular club for so long, and then we still late for them. It's different on Tema. Tema, we'll go one or two night in here. I'm sure it's on that premise that Donzi was saying that. If you're a musician in Tema or anything. But yeah, I mean, in general, we, we are coming out to party and, and show love to the people of Tema. I believe that once uh, the right promotions are done, once we communicate the people on the ground and they, we are all coming out and upon, they'll be out. I mean, we'll jump, we'll jump. We, they support, we supported us for so many years mm-hmm. and they are still supporting us. So am I in a position to say that, you know, no, definitely. I know that it's different for me. I I, I beg to differ. I think Dorothy's opinion might be his personal one, but I, I think otherwise. Mm. Then yes. what it means is that all things being equal, people in Tema will be lucky this year, I guess. Well, the, the word is not lucky. I think they, they own it. They uh-huh. own it. It's actually, it's just, they won't be lucky. It's just something that has to be given to them. So we're coming mm. out to give them what they truly deserve. And even more, I mean, even this, I think, is little. Compared to the love that they've shown us, it's little. But we're coming out. We want to do like a health walk with the people of Tema. We want to do a cleanup with the people of Tema. We want to give the people of Tema free food with all the popular uh, food joints in wow. Tema. You understand me? We're wow. trying to engage them well. Mm. Yes, please. Mm. So, w- w- what will be the name for this occasion? Uh, is it Sack Festival or Tema Fest or something? Uh-huh. So, before the end of the week, we are going to share with everybody. I, I want Sack to do the official announcement now. So, I-, okay. I I don't know if you can pardon me on this one because definitely we are announcing this week. Okay. Um, yes. All right, it is allowed. Thank you so much, Angel, for talking to us. And uh, tell Sarkodia we are enjoying his lucky song. It's so great, a song. Thank we you love God. it so Thank much. God. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you more. You bless you All more. Right. All right. <laughs> that was Angel Town. I think the explanation makes sense. We will discuss it further. What else?
also come back home. Let's discuss this. After listening to Angel Town's explanation, do you think there is a case or no case? Gabriel, come through and let me start with you. I want to talk to someone from uh, Bradford's camp, that is Eddie to be specific, but then uh, we are still trying to connect uh, him to the studio so we can say more. Yes, you listen to Angel Town. Yes. Um, is there a problem still? Or, uh, no, there's no problem. Mm-hmm. Luckily, um, I was part of the few to watch the I think a one minute video of yes uh, with Kobichi and others to watch the one minute documentary F- just a bit of it from the feature one okay uh, yes SAC wasn't inclusive that's very interesting we didn't see it but um, that doesn't mean that the, the, the full length one he won't be there or he he probably oh no now it listen. has been confirmed to us so there's no well dis- um, that thing is Russ, I mean, from what um, the discussions that day, um, it didn't seem like it was only Sarkodie mm-hmm. who didn't take part in the in the, um, um, the the documentary, the shooting of the documentary, and it shouldn't also be everybody, but some people. Yes, and that is if, exactly if, how. If, if Chatawale is not in this documentary, no news. Exactly. Yes, that's what I'm saying, and that's exactly what even Obrafor said. He doesn't expect everyone to be part. As in, but there were people he invited, mm-hmm. and majority of them couldn't turn up. That was that was what he said. So the few that turned up were those that were piled up for the documentary. That was mm-hmm. what. Who, who and who did you see? So far, um, I saw Reggie Rackstone, mm-hmm. I saw Ashes, mm-hmm. I saw Yvonne Nelson, mm-hmm. I saw was it Manifest? Mm-hmm. Yes, I saw Manifest. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, 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 Abraham, Abraham uh, Ahimejan. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. And then uh, so far the artists, it was only Reggie Rackson and then Manifest. I think I saw. Okay. Kod. Yes. Okay. Kod was mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So so far these are the people I saw. Um. Um. When when the discussion started, you 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 could feel it that Obrafo was um was not happy that some people he invited well, didn't take, in there. Yes. Mm. But I personally asked him mm-hmm. how did he feel when he invited them and they didn't come. He said he understood it because it's life. Um, some people will definitely disappoint and others will try to mm. make mm. it for you. That mm. was the explanation of mm. what he, Some people will disappoint. Yes, that's what he said. So he feels people like Sarkozy and Ochami Kwame he, he wasn't specific. Mm. And um, away from that, you know, with whatever he was saying, I, Sarkozy wasn't even in the picture. Uh, probably me. I'm, uh, that's, that's, that's where I stand. I didn't see Sarkozy in the picture. Because as we were discussing, another issue came up when they mentioned Ochami Kwame. I think Zion was the one who mentioned it. Zion asked, how about Ochami Kwame? And these are two people, you know, you should be able to... They, they stand for rap. Yes. So if they, they are celebrating rap. rap, they should be included. Yes. Guru should also be inclusive. Ah, Guru was also not in the documentary. I didn't see him. You understand? Guru and Kasa, I said, 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 something funny like that you get it so uh-huh. it, 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 it's not only sack I, I think from from at this point where i spoke to him after the whole thing a lot of people that many people will be expecting disappointed okay so you were there yes does it mean that they shot the documentary at just one location yes now let me come to that that one too was wrong the the location people are they, too busy these days so. yes so they 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 they, uh, they mentioned mi promo as the location or the studio where they used uh, the actor Chris place okay so okay um on the day mi and, promos office that that was where they shot the yes, documentary. That, was, that was where they so whoever was to be part of the documentary should have, have to, to come there you would have to come there because of the studio. That is Joe Lou. And uh, Brasami, I understand them. Moving a whole studio to a location to another location is quite costly. No, 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 no. You don't have to move any studio to any location. It is a documentary. If you have to record Sarkodie in his bedroom and he feels he's okay, go and record him there. Well. What the what? Uh, you're behind the plans. You see, this one. As for, but for me, for me, I feel that um, it is not only Sakori, and so it shouldn't be quelled only on Sakori because according oh, to the wait, pe- wait, 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 wait. Mm. Um, it's not as if someone is eyeing Sakori. Mm-hmm. If we are talking about Obrafo 
and rap. Mm -hmm. And there is someone to call to be behind a brafo. Even if we close our eyes, the Should only be. name we can point is Sarkodie. Yes, which I, I was also telling Massive that I, I, I expected more from Sark. I expect more from Sark, especially with the Primoka concert and stuff. That is very true. Mm -hmm. But this is a documentary. Um, time lines have been put put out. This and this. He wasn't able. So reschedule. Give him more time. You know, uh, Nipa, you know, to also come out and say, but all the same, no. Uh, I was still. I, I don't see the fault. It's timing. Um, we all the, we all disappoint one way or the other. Um, whatever amendments that have to be put in place to make things possible should be put in place. But um, uh, what I'll have to say is, the concert should come on. I would expect to see Sakodia on the stage, which um, I won't be surprised. But I would expect Sakodia should actually pick from here with all these issues okay. you should be able to pick the Paimuka concert or whatever activities that comes with the Paimuka mm -hmm. concert mm -hmm. and pick it up to himself because I am expecting much from him because exactly. this is Sarkodie this is Obrafo and we mm -hmm. know Obrafo is a godfather of Sarkodie and I'll expect I feel that Sarkodie should even take this whole Paimuka thing as his as own, his own. Okay. yes and push it harder for mm -hmm. people to come that's what I feel well I'm also praying that the date doesn't clash with what he also wants to do in Tema because if the date clashes and he also has to grant interviews for his concert. I'm not sure we can blame him because, um, as a matter of fact, we are still in the space competing each other. Or Bravo is still competing with Sarkodie. That is, if he's not retired and he's still rapping, they are competing. So I'm not sure Sarkodie can give all his everything to support someone's project and leave his to die. Let's do more on Twitter. I want to read more from you after getting the explanation from uh, Sarkodie's manager. That is Angel Town. Do you still think uh, there should be an issue and the, the explanation does even sit well with you. Let's get that more. Kobe J, let me come boss. to you. Yes, boss. Mm. Yes. So um, it is very sad. I mean, for us to find ourselves in this situation where people are, I mean, trying to point fingers at us and so I the I understand. I mean, like you said, there are huge figures when it comes to the rap fraternity, and so I mean, there's no cause of alarm. Now, I was part of the team that Obrafo invited. And so it was a general statement that he put across. Across, say he invited you guys to where? To uh, create, create, create a lounge. Okay. Yes, I mean to, they invited the media the to media, go see the documentary. The documentary. Oh, I, yes. nev I never heard. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, Zion asked. I think it was Pep Junior or Zion who asked that Pep mm -hmm. that I mean we've watched this documentary and I mean there's no Sarkodie factor in it or Chairman Kwame. And they said that they invited them. So Obrafo specifically didn't mention Sarkodie. He just had to say generally he, he sent the message across, he sent the invite across, but nobody or these people that the um journalists are asking didn't come. And then again, I was also with Angel when the calls were coming. Because we went for IS and we were coming. So I was right. When the calls were coming for yes, him to record. Yes. Mm. I was with Angel that day in his car when Eddie was calling. And so they went back and forth. Angel tried very hard to make that documentary possible. But I don't know, I mean, what happened? The game, I think Sack was going to change. Mm. They called back that time now, so it's an own to me. They called back several calls, like Angel was saying, several back to back calls. But I mean, to no avail. So I think that we don't have to blame Sarko that much for this. He did try, 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 try. But in going forward, I think that, I mean, like Jibril said, there's more activities ahead. More activities ahead. So they are recording the documentary in just one studio. You see, and even Sack said that. Oh, oh, uh, who are the producers for the documentary? I don't know. Sack has so fear until they can come. Ah, but I saw these same people in quote. They went to quote to record the chiefs and the traditional authorities in quote. Ah, uh, so I don't. Yes. Exactly. So, so why is it difficult for them to move to yes. Lashibi? And you know, these artists. If they are could even drive, busy. if they could drive to quote and spend days. These artists are even busy. They are more busy. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. They went to quote. <laughs> To record the chiefs and people of Kou for exactly, the documentary. Exactly. Spent days in a hotel and all that. But they couldn't drive to Lashibi to go record uh, Sarkodie. That is oh, sad. It's, no. it's just, what are we it's, talking it's, about? It's quite unfortunate. Please, those who are blaming Sarkodie, let him see. It's, it's just quite unfortunate. So for, for me, I just think that, I mean, um, like Angel said, Sark has always been there for uh, Bravo from day one. No, Sark can't do that to no, Bravo. No, 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 to me. You see, that is why it is becoming a story because uh, Sarkodie ah, ignoring Obrafo's yes. documentary. Sarkodie called Angel back to back. Are they coming? Are they coming? Are they coming? They didn't show up. 
You understand? Mm. So the, I mean, in this case, I don't know that. I don't know why they should really even take this as a big deal. But like I said, in going for it, there's a lot of activities in the pipeline. The mm. Pamuka concert has got a lot of tour activities. Mm. I mean, South Korea is also going to play its role. That's what I'm saying. I'm praying that it doesn't happen on some days that he has also put down to do some things. Yes. If it happens, no one should blame him. And some we've seen a lot of. They are competing, you know. Documentaries. Uh -huh. You can move to his studio, his house, his compound. No. A lot of Which people produce the documentary? I don't know. It's the Osha Obi Okasebi at the same studio. The same studio. So a music blogger following all these activities. You can join us on Twitter. What do you think about what is happening? Uh, Sarko the El Bravo and the matters arising. Let's have your opinion on Twitter. The hashtag is still Showbiz Agenda, trending at number three in Ghana. Uh, you can also give me a mention of Sammy Flex. Let's review this. Yes, Lady Ref. Um, yeah. yeah. I also had an issue with um, Angel when he said, since the statement came out, they've not reached out to your brother. Of course. I, I thought... And that was that, that's the point where I, I was first to say that they've just disrespected the old man. Mm. Look, mm -hmm. I tell you what. I will be honest. I said this to Kobe Che behind this. I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. If we had to put IS in a brother's documentary, Sakodi should choose a brother's documentary above IS. You know mm. why? Mm. Sakode, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Sakode should choose a Force documentary, documentary above eyes. Above eyes. Yes. The, remember, there might be one. There, there might be money in one, and one is just for friendship. One is not for friendship. It is one, for friendship. One is for loyalty. One is for appreciation. <laughs> one is for a man who could sit. And it was you know, at a point. I mean, we've been in this game for long. At a point, I had an issue with a brothel singling Sakodia out when you asked him who is your best rapper. It, 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 was, it was quite heartbreaking for people who also looked up to and I think Mr. Logic is one of such people. When giving uh, Mr. Logic chance to speak on this, are you are you okay? <laughs> you go bonkers. Because what are you? Do yes, the boy is good. The boy says he looks up to you, but there were other people who were also looking up to Obra. Obra for did Sakodie as if it was his own. That money cannot buy. Look, without that, IS will not see you today and think that you are worth their platform. Mm. 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 That is and also so a valid point. You don't point. wake up and tell me that, yeah, um, at the end of the day, Obrafo was the last person I spoke to, and I was surprised. You want Obrafo to send his his crew to shoot you, Sakodie? Hello? No. That's your father. Well, I'm going to take it from the, the point of ministry. Mm -hmm. When we say someone is your father, if my godfather calls or my spiritual father calls right now, I'm done with the show. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would disappear there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The grace you earn, and that is what you receive. And where your father ends is where you start. So when you have somebody who had your back, regardless from the beginning, had his voice on your staff and supported you to this, where you are, where you are, can sack. This is a special thing. It is his 20 years. He will be emotional about it if you don't show up. Mm. Mm. And remember, the more they get older, they, they become like kids again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We all have fathers when they get older, they expect that the same level of attention they gave you when you were young. If you don't do that, they feel you know they understand. And the the rights are coming from a brother said, Oh, they could be busy with work. He understands you'll be busy with work, but he wanted you to know that this is something more important. Mm. 20 is a number, two decades, it's something, it meant something to him. And he's so much proud to associate with if nobody comes and only Sakode shows up for Braff, I believe it will make the man happy. That one is true. That one is true. So, why are we writing off the disrespect? It is but, but can we also argue with the production team a little bit? For instance, you are recording a documentary for Obrafo's 20 years. I personally saw a team from Obrafo. They went all the way to quote, to record the chiefs and the traditional authorities there. They are not music related. Maybe that's where it comes from. Fair enough. But if you're in Accra and you know very well, you know that these people might be busy going up and down. They could have even met or uh, Sakode at the National Theatre. Right after that, sit in a car. Documentary can be recorded from any corner. It's about what is being said. Okay. The sense, the substance. 
uh, Sami, this is your dad. First off, they went to Kwaun not to go and not going not going to video musicians. I would have just said, okay, so what's it? They went to um, shoot chiefs. Mm-hmm. You and I know how this um, our our leaders, our chiefs, take moving them alone. Cry, no, it's even um, three times expensive. You go in there. Because if you are moving a chief from Kwewu, you can, you can just understand. That was just respect given to the stool, to the culture, to in uh, any other thing. This gentleman is your, your godfather. Not just godfather by mouth. Godfather who has proved beyond any other thing that he loved you. And if he says that, let's all shoot at one place. You could be busy. Are you so busy for your dad? That's the point. This is what he wants. Do you understand? He won't have 20 years again. Remember, you also be 20 years someday. You would also would want your kids or people you mentored to actually give you that thing that gives you some level of satisfaction. I'm seeing Obrafo as a father if you were my father. If he says that I should shoot the documentary sitting on a bench, that is what he wants. Do it for him. It won't make you less a person. Hmm. He's fine. He's okay. It's gone. Until the man is still in the... You never know which kind of last blessing he's going to give you. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, Lady Rev. And uh, let me read your tweets at Xylophone1021. And again, uh, remember the hashtag showbiz agenda. Brian Zimi, wrap it up. You're not King Jerry on Komodi. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, documentary, documentary. Uh, you know, even though it's staged, you make it look on staged as much as possible. So, if I were the one behind production, I would adopt going to meet the people in their various spaces. I think that's that's when it seems natural. That's it when, gives it a, yes, a, a, a feel. That the yeah, look, yeah. the yeah. look will even be good. That's how come you have you know people flying all the way from outside to come and record subjects here if they feel it's very important they let you be in your space they travel all the way from wherever they are if it's germany uk us come down come and record you in your space for two or three minutes and take the file back or they let you record and send now it's going to be very difficult if you want all these people to gather at one place to record for you especially when you have a studio which is not yours, where they can come in at any time. They, they have some flexibility in their arrangements. So you have a studio which is allowing you up until 12. Maybe Sa could tell you I'll be available. And then before 12, he gets a call. He has to be somewhere. He has to be this. He has to be that. Mm-hmm. So you make it as flexible as possible. If it, it's in his house and you move your equipment, you go record. From there, if it's uh, Yvonne Nelson, you have to meet. You go and record Yvonne Nelson. Maybe in a day or two, you could keep them. You could zone them. If they say no, they can't come to where you are. Don't worry, I'm coming to where you are. No, I could try. But if they would have to be bust or allowed to come and gather at one place to record, you definitely are going to face some of these things. Now, you, you look at the people you're dealing with and their timing to decide whether or not going that lane will be the best. You have a studio at Jowulu, MI promo, Mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. You have up until 2 p.m. Are you sure they could all make it there? How many days are you going to have it for the 2 p.m.? But you can tell that if success as you come home at 6, you will be sure to be there at 6. This one has a bit less of a thing to do with the father figure in here. Yes, he's my father. I, I give him the reverence. If for me to accept to do it alone shows that I'm ready and willing to be a part of whatever he is doing. That doesn't mean that you should disadvantage me when you can actually make it flexible for me to do it. Let's let's look at that side too. Don't say in the name of fatherhood. Uh, 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 Sakode was at the launch. Yes. We were all there when Sakode yes, came. Sak was there. Uh-huh. Because of father, I would say, hey, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to No. No. He has agreed to do it. So make things flexible for him. You should know the, the kind of schedule these people run. They are busy. Mm-hmm. They are busy. Look, mm-hmm. the names you mentioned, Ochami Kwame, Sakodia, Yvonne Nelson, uh, even, even uh, Grandpapa. Very busy folks. So make it easy for them to be able to come and do it for you. You need it. At this point in time, even though they want to express uh, that love for you, you need the substance. You need the product more than they do. Mm-hmm. That one, you have to accept it. You need it more than they do. And you know, also hear every effort to be able to get it, no matter how you are supposed to do it. He said he was at IS. Mm-hmm. You agree that you're sending your folks 
to his place. Who saw a month mean con the pet? You call and alert them that look, or me to me, I may be a china. Aha. So you could blame a bit of you know, uh, you could put a bit of blame on Sack and his people for not calling when the story broke out to find out. Say, oh, but we agreed on this, and you didn't show up. So how come you are saying this? Uh, 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 yes. But then once we are arguing, say we won't Production wise, you're supposed to call and alert your 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 guest. Because in this case, Sack is a guest. You call him that. Look, we are unable to make it. Will tomorrow be okay for you, or would this day be okay for you? Because because of A, B, C, we can't make it. Even though Abrafo said we should come to your house, so that you also be aware that Ngrofuni to member, but you don't leave him hanging. And then the next thing he hears is that um, a documentary is done and they couldn't make it. That mm. that that is a bit uh, improper. Mm. You are let them that won't member. Much as you would expect him to call you to know, say, Oh, I gave you two, but me were IS in the mean to me, you know. You two, if there's any change in plans, you let him know. That's how production works. Communication is key. It's very, very key. Oh. It could destroy it from the top to down. Yeah. Yeah. If you miss one level of communication mm. within the mm. chain of communication mm. that you need to work with, mm. it could destroy a lot of things. That's true. Because He's working with time. You are working with time. If you can't make it at two, you let him know. We can make it at three. If he can't be there at three, we let you know three won't be okay for me. Come at four. So you juggle it. Then eventually you get the substance. But once emotion sets in and one is feeling like uh, you are supposed to do it for me no matter what and you are not giving me the attention I need, no. A uh, production in Huni Airdream, when you Naming that one, let's leave it aside until the production is done. Mm. That is the core thing here. How do we get the production done? If you need to beg, you beg. If you need to, you know, convince the person, you convince the person. If you need to say, look, I don't want to stress you. Be at home. I am coming there. You do it. You do it. But deciding to pile all of them together in one studio, perhaps with different times, I think a non Sonobema production mm, had a kakra. Mm, a mm, Nubema production mm, had a kakra. Mm, and mm. it's okay, um, Angel Town came out to speak. Issues like this, I mean, they are fond of not speaking to issues. But this one, it will paint a very bad picture for somebody. Mm, 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 that is true. It is good he came out to speak to clear the cobweb so people get to understand exactly what happened. If they keep quiet on this, it will go a long way to affect him. Then the loyalty, the, the love you always preach for the old man, uh, well, he's not too old though. The love you always preach for or brave for, can't you express it in allowing five minutes of your time to be filmed? What happened? All these questions will come up and it won't augur well for him. Now just say, hey, yeah, talk, talk. Mm, and not mm, real. Mm, mm, you see? Mm. So it's okay. Angel came out to speak to dispel all the things the that people... Yes. It's there. very, very important to clear some of these things because it's hey, yeah, dicey. And it's also very, 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 very um, uh, important that you clear it. Yes, Anna. Sack, people start seeing him with some, some eye. Because for Brafo is his idol. Mm. Do, do you admit that they've kept long not getting back to him? Yes. Well, I, I think they have. I think they have. Once the story broke out, you should yeah. yeah. Oh, old oh boy. Or maybe them to them ball, them vex. Oh, anything is possible. Cause if if no, 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 no or Brafo has complained. They ah, should have called him. It should have been. It should yeah. have been swift. Ah, the then next thing should it. have been a call. Because, because, you know, you see, the, 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 the last conversation was between Angel and Brafo. That's why that's what you also say, say, the emotions are bim. Because if the last conversation was between you and him, and he still went ahead to say that, you might want to find out why he's saying that. And then that's when you call him quickly to say, oh, Matissa, what can say? say, but say, yeah, say, no. Okay, so the uncle for Nibo, and say, no, mamba. Then he will also clarify his side of it. But Ujama Nitsi Osana is like, okay, say, we agreed and we decide to do it. So do what you want to do. No, 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 no. You know, for that, I will. No, you can vouch for them. But I'm also saying anything is possible. What I'm saying. We are there with you. But everything is everything. Everything is everything. Be be to me, You know, so quickly, if there's still a way they could record. Angel has, you know, expressed readiness. Mm. Um, fat camera, no, anyway, any scary way. Be a um, camera. Okay, okay. Let them 
the guy sits in his studio and record him. It's beautiful when people sit in their spaces for documentaries. Mm-hmm. It's the best. Where they are comfortable. Listen, it should look on stage as possible. Mm. In his studio, in his car, somewhere, at an event. Get them there and so you have variety in the shots. Not everybody sitting on the same chair, in the same studio, speaking to the same thing. No matter how different their content would be, there's still that stiffness in it. Mm. Let mm. the thing be flexible. Mm. Move let from, it flow. Yes, let mm. it flow from different angles. Mm. Obiti studio, obiti stage, obiti ha, obiti ha. And obiti crowd or gym. Obi yes. Obiti kwa mizi or pe and then he will tell you what he feels. That's the simplest and the most beautiful way to go about it. Production must be there. Production must be there. More person will be you to be in studio. There be more fucker man on Kwasa. Why ready? No old man, say Levanyo, Kobe K, Lady Rev, and um, Jabril from GHKasa.com. You've heard them. Now let me read some one or two commentaries on Twitter. Now Lapi G, no lighting says, boss, he is not discriminating. He wouldn't have called Angel if he's doing what you are saying. The boss, listen well. At a point, he was even fighting for Sarkodie. Thanks. Okay, I'm sure it is in response to something. Now, DJ Posse says, Sammy, if you interview your bra for all right now and ask him who is his current rapper here in Africa, he will mention Sarkodie first. He, he, the love is still there. Oh, bra for God bless you. And Namuan's girl says, Master, don't be judgmental. Don't find fault when there is no issue. Sammy Flex is for all artists. Now, Stephen K. Nakuja says, Sam, imagine me. Stress you, bra Sammy, for a documentary on Flex News paper one day how will you feel knowing i am one of your loyalists and if not your best i feel a bra for spain charlie kabute didn't try la let him apologize to grandpa now um Prince Larry says, what that lady is saying, they really bore. Sarkodie should sit on bench and shoot documentary. Do you think, Sark Nation, we don't care about branding? <laughs> branding. Sarkodie is not like Mr. Alidu. Sarkodie's branding is solidified. Play me country vibe in <laughs> general. Okay, now Percy J says, Sammy, Lady Rev, uh, what if my son is busy? Go to him. <laughs> okay, now I am, just Cow says, it's funny how people talks anyhow without respect don't mind him all they know is to pour their hatred and hypocrisy out now steven also says or steve also rather he says kindly tell lady rev that at a point in time baby jesus told his parents they shouldn't look for him because he has to be at his father's house ministry sack has his own brand he is nurturing if you have the opportunity to make something work do it okay